In this session, I'm going to show you how to use the filtering functionality within iThoughts. Now, the filtering basically allows you to hide information that you don't want to see and highlight information that you do, and there are a number of ways to do it. Now, I've deliberately zoomed out of the map in case you're wondering why we're so far away from it, and I'll show you why in a second. So firstly, let me show you the quickest and easiest way to filter, and that is to filter by the words in your map. So if you come up here to this search box where it says Quick Filter, if you were then to type in words, iThoughts will search for those words in your map and will hide the, uh, will hide everything else that doesn't contain it. So if, for example, I say Monday, it'll hide everything except Monday. If I were to then say, so the reason why I've zoomed right out is so that I can do this. So I'm just going to extend the map out so you can see what's under all the things. And you can either do that by coming down here and saying show slash hide and clicking three levels or whatever levels you want. Or you'll see here it's just the shortcut is simply the number. So I'm just going to click off and I'm just going to say whilst highlighting the central topic, I'm just going to hit the number three. Oh, except it's still in filter, so ignore me there. So now that I've clicked off the filter, let's try that again. So I hit the number three and it opens out the entire map and you can see what's under everything. So if I now say quick filter AM, for example, it'll show me everything to do with everything where it's basically found AM. Now the reason I've opened out the map like that and shown it to you that way is because what if I now hit 1, so to close the map in again, and I now search AM, you'll notice it doesn't find anything because it'll only search the topics that, it, that are visible at the time, so just something to be aware of. Now we're going to look at some of the slightly more advanced filtering functionality within iThoughts. You'll see I've already populated the map with a few little bits of information that iThoughts can latch onto. So the more advanced uh, filtering basically latches onto things like progress or due dates or icons, markers. You can set it to pretty much anything. So for sake of example, I've added in to the first three days of the week here, so to Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I've just added some due dates. So let's just say uh, Tuesday is due on for uh, next Wednesday, just to be a little bit confusing. So obviously that makes no sense in real terms, but just so I can demonstrate what I mean. So what you'll then be doing is you're coming up to this little symbol up here. This is the filtering symbol. And you click on this and you get this drop down menu. And if we go straight to the show option, we can say show topics that are due this month, let's say. And what it should do is hide everything else and it'll just show you Monday and Tuesday, because as you can see here under the task information panel, we've said that they are due within September. So then to get rid of that, you come back into this menu, say clear, and then it'll show you the rule that it's applying. So we say clear that, and it'll show everything up again. Equally, we could say show topics that are in progress. So if we say that, it should show me just Thursday and Friday, because you can see we've assigned a progress marker to these that is still underway. Finally, you might say show me only the things that are completed and there you can see Saturday has got the little tick mark because it's got the progress marker here and we've marked it as complete so then when you filter it it is only showing you the task that is completed so if we just clear that off you can do the exact same thing but in reverse so you can get it to hide these things so we might say hide topics that are due this month so I don't want to worry about anything I'm doing this month I want to be looking further ahead let's say or looking at things that are only due this week so let's say we're going to hide things that are due this week and then it should hide Monday and Tuesday for us because they are due within a week. So hopefully that's just a clear uh, demonstration of how you can use the pre-existing rules within iThought. So like you can see, you can see due this month, due today, priorities, task completed, task in progress, so on and so forth. If none of these rules are useful for you, what you can do is you can edit the existing ones. So you could say, I mean, you wouldn't necessarily want to change the rule for due this month because that's fairly self-explanatory. For example, the to-do rule, if I click on that under edit, the built-in iThoughts rule says that if you tell it to filter by to do, it'll search for anything that has the text, so the word to do, written like that within the topics. But maybe that's not how you want to use it. Maybe you've got a particular marker or something that you're using to mark as a to do, and you can tell it to filter by that. Alternatively, you can create a new rule altogether. So if we say new, we can say match all, and let's say match icons, that contain a red flag. So what we're going to do is we're going to create this rule and for us in bigger plate, if we have red flags on things in our maps, in our dashboard planning maps, a red flag means we haven't uh, we haven't actioned something that week. We haven't moved it forward that week. So let's call this rule unmoved. So if we say save, this rule is now pre-existing. It's now built in so that if I say show, I should have the option. You can see at the bottom here it's added unmoved as a filtering rule. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add coming back into our icons over here, 
I'm just going to add a red flag to Monday, uh, to Thursday, and to Sunday. And because I have created this rule that says I want you to be able to filter by icons and specifically by this red flag, I should be able to say show me topics that are unmoved because if you remember that's what we called the rule because red flags represent unmoved tasks. If I then click that, it should show me just Monday, Thursday and Sunday because they all have a red flag in them. So if we just clear that off. Finally, another little useful feature is if you've got a map that you're constantly working on over a week, over a month, you can ask it to show you the things that you've modified recently. So if I say modified in the last hour, it'll show me basically all of these topics because obviously we've just added markers and uh, information to them. But what I could say is show you know, yesterday or this week. And that means that if you've got a map that you're constantly working on throughout your working day, uh, you could see what you've done that day, what you've changed, what you've edited, and also your colleagues can do the same thing. So it's just a useful way of keeping track of the progress you're making and the changes you're making to your maps. So there you have it. That's how you filter in iThoughts, either by using this quick, quick filter to search for text or by using the pre-existing rules or by creating or editing your own rules. But just remember that it'll only filter the tasks or the information that it can see on the map at the time.